Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Well, anything and everything. So, what is there to ramble about today? Or, what am I going to ramble about? Well, today I'm going to ramble about uh, cell phones and whether or not those uh, upgrade plans are worth it or not. So what am I talking about actually? So you know with these uh, plans, whether it's with a AT&T or Sprint or Verizon, you most people they can't afford to buy a phone outright. Let's say like an iPhone, um, like an iPhone 10 costs over a thousand dollars to get one. And not most people have that kind of money they can just pull out and put down. So they get a plan. It's a two-year plan, and they pay, what, $30, $35 a month. Um, and sometimes they keep their phone for years until Apple releases an update that bricks the phone. <laughs> uh, or they have a plan where they're able to move up to the next phone that comes out. So I'm with T-Mobile, for example, and they have a jump plan, which uh, allows me to uh, go to, after paying for a year on the phone, I can go to a newer phone. So I started off with the Galaxy S6, and after a year I jumped to the S7, uh, it was the S7 Plus, no, Edge, the S7 Edge. And then with the, yeah, it was the uh, S6 Edge, and then I went to the S7 Edge, and then the S8, well, they were Edges anyway, so I went to the S8 Plus. Um, and that's what I'm recording this video on right now, is my Galaxy S8 Plus. So I am currently upgrading, now that I've, uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm at the, 14 month mark. So I'm upgrading my phone again. Now am I upgrading it to the S9 Plus? No, actually I'm not. I'm upgrading it to the Note 8. I don't know if you can see that, if I can bring it in a little closer. So yeah, I'm uh, upgrading it to the Note 8. Now why the Note 8? Well, this has been out uh, for, was, when did it come out? Like October? Uh, September, October, something like that. And uh, it's cheaper now than what it was when it first came out. So I figured, and, and I want a note. Um, now I know some may think, well, why don't you just wait until the Note 9 comes out? Well, then the Note 9 will be full price, and also my S8 will be even more closer to being paid off. So I figured it might be smarter to go ahead and just jump to that Note 8 now um, and then in a year from now a little bit over a year from now then uh, assumingly the S10 will come out I can just upgrade to the um, Note 9 at that time because uh, what I like about the Galaxy S9 um, for one Okay, so the Note 8, it's got the dual cameras, so that's cool. The, um, the S9 Plus has got the dual cameras, but it's got that adjustable aperture, which I think is really cool, um, along with the dual camera lens. But it's also, it moved that fingerprint uh, sensor, which is now in the middle, um, which is really good. Uh, I use the fingerprint scanner, or scanner, scanner, <laughs> the scanner on my scanner, uh, I use the scanner on mine, on my uh, S8, uh, but I have, when I hold my phone, I have to like <laughs> move it, I have to kind of like move over here, it's really annoying, so um, I would love to have it in the middle, but uh, I'm just 
I want the note, so I'm going to just have to wait um, a bit. So I do, and I'm sure it's going to be on the Note 9. It would only make sense for it to be on the Note 9. Plus, I'm sure the Note 9 is going to have some, some more new features on there. But the question is, what is the Galaxy 10, or some are saying it's going to be the Galaxy X, uh, or the Note 10, what is it going to be? A, a lot of people suspect that it's going to be the the fold, uh, like the folding phone um, with a, with the fingerprint scanner that's embedded into the screen. Um, and I, you know, honestly, I don't know if I really, I don't know if I really want that. Hey, yeah, it's cool and stuff. But honestly, I don't know if I really want that. Um, I don't really, you know, I, the screen for... Um, for what I have, and well, the Note 8 is just a tad bit bigger, but it's a big enough screen for, for what I need. I don't need something that folds up and is like twice the size. I mean, I got a tablet. <laughs> I got, If I really need something like that, I've got a tablet, you know? So I don't really need a phone that does that. And plus, it, you know, I have this in my pocket, and, and uh, a fold-up phone is just going to be more heavier, you know? It, it's like, you know... You know let me get a big pocket, you know, with baggy, you know, baggy pants, you know, like MC Hammer pants, uh, so I can put my tablet in there or something, you know, some parachute pants so I can put my tablet in there and let it drag, drag, uh, you know, across the ground or something. Yeah, so I'm not so sure if I am really want to get a tablet. So I'm thinking, all right, I want to get the Note 8 now, upgrade to the Note 9 next year um so depending upon when you're watching this video it's 2018 now so 2018 for the note 8 so in 2019 i'll get the note 9 and i think i'm going to go ahead and stay with the note 9 um i don't think i'm going to upgrade after that i'm going to go ahead and stay with that because right now honestly i love my s8 and I wouldn't, I would stay with it, um, if I didn't, if I wasn't interested in the Note 8, I would go ahead and stay with it, <clears throat> but going back to the upgrade plans, my question is, are they worth it? Do you think they're worth it? Because, um, now that this is, uh, cheaper, um, I found out that this is, going to be the same price per month that I'm already paying for the S8 Plus, which is good, but that payment plan is just starting all over again. So whereas I only had 10 more months to pay, well, now I'm resetting it and now I've got 48 more months to pay on it. And then in the year, I'll have another 48 months left to pay for it. But I'm getting a new phone. I'm getting a, a new battery, and you can't you can't replace the batteries in here. Um, although, if if you go to uh, Jerry Rig Everything, great guy. I've not met him, but I love his videos. Um, Jerry Rig Everything. Go if you haven't seen his videos, go check him out. Guy's awesome. He uh, he reviews phones. He pulls them uh, he pulls them apart. Damages the heck out of them. Um, but he really puts those uh, phones to the test. So if you really want to know if a phone's worth getting, check out his videos. He'll, he'll put them through the test as far as scratching and show you how well it's built. He'll pull them apart. Um, but he's, he's gone through as far as like replacing batteries and stuff. Um, typically, you kind of don't want to do that, but... Um, Hey man, he, he likes the Jerry Rig stuff. So, um, uh, as far as replacing batteries, that typically you you can't on on these. So when the battery dies, it's you know pretty much dead. It's a it's a brick. Uh, and I've had cell phones in the past. Now, mind you, they were cheap. So, but in two years, they were just kind of like they're gone. So I had to buy a new phone anyway. Um, but ever since I've been on this jump program, haven't had to worry about that. 
So I've basically been leasing a new phone every month. Kind of like, you know, a car. You have a car payment, you know, you have a house payment. So the cell phone was just, you know, kind of along the lines, along the same lines, you know. Um, I, I, I kind of see it, you know, okay, so I'm paying like, okay, no, I'm paying more than 30 bucks a month. Not that I think, you know, I, yeah, I'm paying more than 30 bucks a month. For, for a moment, I was thinking, well, it's kind of like my telephone bill. Well, that's kind of like an expensive telephone bill. But, you know, you're paying for a telephone service every month. You know, it's not like you pay one fee and uh, you got your telephone service. Uh, but, you know, I, I think I think of this as a utility, as a utility bill, just, just like um, my electricity and water, gas. Um, we do have gas here. Um, gas stove, gas uh, heater. I like gas, as a matter of fact, because when the electricity goes out, hey, you still got gas. Um, but, yeah, so that's the question. Now, there are some people um, that still have, like, old Galaxy phones that are still working. There are people who still have iPhones um, that are still working. I think you can. I think they were they were replacing batteries in them, um, but I guess that begs the question. Um, for those of you that have been on these payment plans, and, or maybe you've paid off your phone early, has it been worth it for you, or have you found that after that paying for that phone for two years, your phone um, like you know, they, you know, they say that, you know, technology, the things that you buy, they're made to, de to decay, to force you to buy something else. Um, that dates back to the very early pantyhose, where the first ones they came out with were, um, they, they never ran, they never fell apart, and they're like, well, no one's buying new ones, so then they made them to where they started to run and fall apart. So, you know, they started doing that with a lot of things. So that's the thing. Um, for those of you who have had uh, cell phones and paid them off in two years, has it been worth it? When you paid it off, have you been able to hold on to that phone for several more years after that? Um, or did it start uh, not working so well? Uh, maybe some updates started slowing it down. Um, or maybe just after so much use, it just wasn't working so great. You know, do you wish that you would have just upgraded your phone when you had the chance and gotten something with a better battery? Or maybe you upgraded your phone to something new and you wish you hadn't because, uh, you know, you upgraded your phone to something new and now you don't have a headphone jack. <laughs> let me tell you, I'm glad I have a headphone jack. I mean, let me tell you why. Um, I with the the note, I have the the gear VR, the head, uh, the VR glasses, and there are some there are some games where they want you to have actual uh, headphones plugged in because the Bluetooth does not work very well. So, if you don't have a headphone jack, that's kind of hard, kind of a pain. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a pain because the 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 the, uh, the VR has to plug in where the USB is at. So if you don't have a headphone jack, it's kind of hard to get some audio out of some games. I mean, I guess you'd have to go with just the speaker. Kind of suck. So yeah, no, totally glad I have a headphone jack, and I'm sure I'm pretty sure the Note Nine will have one. But, you know, how much longer are they going to have headphone jacks? And that's probably, I may stop by that time. I don't know. Um, also, too, I like my Gear VR. So when they start making uh, a phone that is no longer compatible with it, that's why I'm saying I may hold on to my phone as long as possible. But anyway, I'm, I'm curious. I, I'm, I'm curious uh, what you guys think. Um... Uh, in regards to these uh, upgrade plans and, you know, what you think of them. If, are they rip-offs? Are they scams? Um, or do you think they're, they're good? Um, 
uh, it's kind of like those uh, those insurance plans that you can get from like Amazon and from Walmart, Best Buy. You know, you 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 buy you buy something in the store. Would you like to get a three year uh, maintenance plan with that? It's only five ninety nine or ten ninety nine or you know. And most of the time, those things are they're just gimmicky. They're they're not really worth it. Um, especially since they're from third parties and they're such a pain in the butt uh, to try to use and uh, make claims on uh, and stuff. So, you know, are the upgrade plans for phones along the same lines? I don't know. You tell me down in the comments below. i very interested in your feedback on that. And if you like this video, hey, well, you know the, you know the spiel. Click the thumbs up. Um, I yeah, appreciate, appreciate your attention and, uh, your, your feedback and you guys checking out my video. It's always cool. And, uh, hey, you know that, you know where that subscribe button is at? You click on that. I love you for it. And, uh, in return, you get to know when the next video comes out. How about that? Kind of cool, huh? And until then, see you on the next video.